And welcome to our March 22nd PZM Essentials Webinar. My name is Dan Ba, and I'm the Precision Business Planning Specialist, Bag Solver. And in today's webinar, we're going to be reviewing, creating, and reviewing the field report card. Give you an idea of our agenda today. We'll go through our introduction, and then we'll hop into the application and navigate to the report creation tab and then create a field report card and then also review that field report card, and then we can save that or print that to a PDF. And then finally, we'll follow up with any questions anyone might have. And so, but before we begin, I do want to mention that in today's webinar, we are in Q&A mode, so if you do have a question, please type your question in the chat box below my contact information, and I will answer your questions throughout this webinar. So, but now we'll hop into Profit Zone Manager. And so here we're just in the enterprise uh, Danba Farms. What we'll first do is click on the Create Report button in the upper right-hand corner above the map. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And we can create reports based off of the enterprise level. So every single acre that you farm, we can also create reports based off of a specific farm with a subset of fields within, within that farm. Or we can create a report based off of a field or down to the scenario level, which is a, a given scenario for a given year, both on planning or actual. But for this, we'll go ahead and run a report based off of the enterprise level. And when we pull up, you can see all the different types of reports that we can create within the application. So I'm going to click on Field Report Card, and we have a little information icon right next to the name, but I'm just going to click on Field Report Card, and we'll run a report for 2016. So once we check mark the box, we'll come over and click on the green print button. So now our report has been submitted for processing. Uh, the workers piecing this report together, and the report will come back here in a little bit, um, depending on your internet connection speed and also the size of the report will be dependent on the amount of time to, it takes to get it back. Um, also, when the report has been completed processing and is available to view, we'll see a print report uh, green button next to create report and so and also we will get an email saying that our report is ready with a red notifications uh, tab within the application so we'll just wait for that report to come back shouldn't be too long and so last week, we, we reviewed the negative return assessment report. And so this is just con a continuation of going through the suite of reports that we can create within Profit Zone Manager. And so within the field report card, what we'll what we will be able to view is a yield map, our profit, return on investment map, and our break-even maps. And so our report is ready, and so we can click on the red notifications tab. It says report has been created for Dan Bio Farms. We'll click on download report. Now our report is loading. And so here's our 2016 field report card. We have our yield map, and our colors on our yield map are inverse in color. So the darker the red, the higher the yield, the wider the white, the lower the yield. Just to the right, we have our financial performance table showing the field acreage, average yield for the field, return on investment, production efficiency. This is measuring bushels produced per $1,000 spent. 
then we have acreage opportunity ratio at 25%. So 25% of the field is either operating at a break even or negative return. Our dollar amount, our working capital opportunity to our acreage opportunity ratio. Our total expenses, total revenue, and then total profit, and then profit per acre. And then just below that, we have our profit map, our return on investment map, as well as our yield increase to break even and expense decrease to break even maps. And so and we have all of our fields in here so we can go down. This is a nice report. This is probably the first or second most common report that folks like to run. Uh, it gives us a good size, scale, and scope of our operation. Uh, this is also the report that we initial, initially send out to customers after we have completed processing their data um, so they have something uh, in their hands and to go off of. And so it has all of our fields within this report based off of the enterprise level. I also want to mention that we can share this report so say I want to share this report with someone within my operation or share this with an ag, ag loan officer or anyone who I so choose. So we can share it from one day up to 60 days. And then after that time period, the link becomes inactive. We can also print or download this report to a PDF uh, if we click on the print button. Uh, we have your standard uh, print features. Just select our printer, or if we want to save that to a PDF. So we can cancel this. So now I'd like to open the floor up for any questions anyone might have regarding the field report card. And so and if you have any que questions after the webinar, if you're viewing this webinar on our YouTube channel and have questions, please feel free to contact myself or the support team. My email address is djbahe at agsolver.com. Or you can contact our support team at support at agsolver.com. And then you can always call me on my cell phone. That is 319-238-1978. And we can set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting or one-on-one -on -one webinar and work through and answer any questions um, that you might have regarding your enterprise. I want to mention that after this webinar is completed, it will be posted on to our Ag Solver YouTube channel, so you can go back and rewatch this webinar. And finally, I would like to invite you to our intermediate planning webinar today at 11, creating 2017 cash flow analysis scenario. So what we're doing is we're precision business planning on a field and so we're starting with our basic 2017 cash flow. How does 2017 look like and compare when we use today's commodity prices, today's input prices? Where is that going to put us? And then we will be creating other scenarios, tile scenarios. Um, we also have areas within the field where we have uh, tree and turkey damage to the crop, also tree shading. How do we remedy that? Um, and this is uh, a webinar series that we'll be completing over the next three to four weeks, creating scenarios on the county line south field. And so if there is no questions, I want to thank you for viewing our March 27th, 2nd Intermediate, or excuse me, PZM Essentials Webinar creating and reviewing field report cards. Thank you.